Sammy's Bookshelf. I'm Sammy and today I'm going to be showing you five books that I predict I will give a five star rating to. The first book that I will predict will get a five star rating is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This book is about a girl named Lily who I believe finds herself in a love triangle but knowing Colleen Hoover it's probably a lot more complicated and heartbreaking than that. It's kind of hard to talk about this book since I haven't actually read it yet and with contemporaries, especially Colleen Hoover books, I like to go into these not really knowing much about the plot so I can be surprised when I do read it. But I've heard so many great things about this book. Everyone and their dog is reading it right now and absolutely loving it. And I've read my own fair share of Colleen Hoover and I've loved every single book of hers that I've read so I've no doubt that I will also love this book just as much if not more. Although I have have to admit I have been putting this book off for quite a while just because Colleen Hoover's books are quite emotionally distressing and so I kind of have to be in the mood to be emotionally distressed I guess. I have no doubt this book will make me cry but one of the things I really love about Colin Hoover's books is the emotion that they're able to get out of me. Like if I'm crying at the end of the book it most likely would get a five star rating just because it means it was effective and making me feel something and that means the writer who's writing it is probably a very talented one. And the blurb even says that you'll be smiling through your tears so maybe that gives me hope that there is a happy ending although I probably shouldn't think that and get my hopes up because if it's not a happy ending that it'll be even sadder and I really don't need it to be sadder than I already know that it is. I'm also not a huge fan of love triangles but I know if anyone can get me to love a love triangle it'll probably be Colleen Hoover. So I'm very excited to read this book. I'm sure it'll be a five star book because most of the Colleen Hoover books that I've read have been five stars. I love Colleen Hoover. She's one of my favourite authors. I'm very excited to read this hopefully in the very near future. The next book I project I will give five stars to is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. This year I went back and read all of Lee Bardugo's books including the King of Scars duology because I had not yet read that and so Ninth House is officially the only Lee Bardugo book I have not read yet. I love Lee Bardugo's books especially the Six of Crows duology. It's one of my favourite books of all time so I'm especially excited to get to Ninth House and hopefully it'll be a five star book. The main thing that makes me believe this will be a five star book is because it deals with secret societies which is so cool. I don't think I've ever read a book with secret societies or cults before. Oh, it was supposed to be a relaxing Europe vacation takes a turn for the worse when a seemingly harmless mundane demon cult becomes dangerous. <laughs> So I'm very excited about that aspect. I have heard some pretty mixed reviews. I feel like most of the reviews I read or watched or listened to early on were all really great. But as it's been more hyped up, more people have been reading it. There have been some mixed reviews. But I feel like most of the reviewers that I know have a similar taste in books to me have absolutely loved it. It's also been picked up for a TV show which Lee Bardugo is writing and is also the executive producer for. So I feel like adaptation where the author is involved in the decision making usually ends up being really successful. So I'm very excited about the Ninth House adaptation. There's no release date or anything. It's very much still in pre-production but it's very exciting. Although I'm kind of on the fence whether I should read this book now or wait until more books in the series are out because I am horrible at remembering what happens in the events in books especially when I'm waiting for the next book to come out. But this book just sounds so cool and I just don't think I'm going to be able to resist reading it right now so I may have to reread it a couple times as the books come out but if I love it then it will be worth it. The next book is Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco. There are quite a few reasons why I believe I will absolutely love this book. First reason is that I really enjoyed Kerry Maniscalco's Stalking Jack the Ripper series especially the second book in that book I love the romance, the murder mystery, the setting it was all just so great so I am really keen to keep up with Kerry and Maniscalco's work. The book I believe involves witches. I believe my main character is a witch so we're getting a more fantastical book which I think it'll be really interesting to see Kerry Maniscalco's storytelling and writing in a fantastical world since Stalking Jack the Ripper was an historical fiction and it didn't really have any fantastical elements in it. I believe this book also has a murder mystery in it. The main character is trying to solve the murder of her twin sister so that's really exciting since I love Kerry Maniscalco's murder mystery in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. There is also 
an enemies to lovers romance which I love enemies to lovers romances it's definitely my favorite book trope and the romance is between our main character and one of the princes of hell so that sounds very interesting very intriguing the one thing that does make me a bit nervous and might not make this a five-star book is in the Sorkin Jack the Ripper series I absolutely loved the second book but the third book really disappointed me there was a plot point introduced which I think was really unnecessary and it kind of made me dislike the romance in the book which is a big plot point that I loved in the second book and it also made me not enjoy the fourth and final book in the series so overall I can't say that I love that series I can say I love the second book but not the series as a whole which is really disappointing so I really hope that this series doesn't fall into the same direction as the Stalking Jack the Ripper series but other than that there's no other reason for me to believe that this won't be a five star book I believe the second book Kingdom of the Curse comes out in October so I should really read it really soon because it's kind of the perfect time to since the next book is coming out so soon. Next we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This book has been blowing up on booktube, on booktok, on bookstagram. It is everywhere. It's probably the most hyped book of like 2020 and 2021. Everybody is reading this book and everyone or at least most people are loving it and I actually feel kind of out of the loop that I haven't read this book yet. I recently read The Monsters of Verity duology by the same author and loved it and so it's made me really keen to read this book. This book seems to have become a lot of people's favorite book of all time so if that's not incentive to hurry up and read this book then I don't know what is and if a lot of other people are rating it five stars then there's a good chance I will rate it five stars and love it just as much. If you don't know this book follows a girl named Ada LaRue who makes a deal with the devil so that she can live forever but the consequence of this deal is that everyone she meets will forget her but 300 years later she finds someone who does remember her. So the plot of this book sounds super intriguing definitely something that I would enjoy. There also seems to be a really interesting romance and there seems to be also the potential to have some really interesting themes and I'm a huge nerd so that very much excites me. When reading The Monsters of Verity I thought the characters and the plot were written really cleverly so I'm very intrigued to see if I feel the same way about Addie LaRue. The last book I have on my list of five star predictions is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is another hyped book that has just been everywhere. Another book I feel really out of the loop that I haven't read yet. It's also another book similar to It Ends With Us that seems to have people very emotionally distressed. A lot of tears are being shed over this book. So this is a retelling of the Greek mythology of Achilles. This is another book I'm kind of scared to read just because of how sad I've heard it is. So I feel like to read this book I really have to be in the mood to read a sad book. And I also really love books that center around Greek mythology. I think they're always really interesting. And as I said before, I'm a huge nerd, so I'm really excited to perhaps learn something. I was actually this close to buying this book a couple weeks ago, but then I remembered that I'm broke and simply could not afford it. So I didn't pick it up, but hopefully I can pick it up really soon and read it because I wanna know what all the hype is about. I feel so out of the loop that I have not read this book yet. I've also heard really great things about Madeline Miller. I think she also has another book that was really popular that came out a couple years ago that was also a retelling. I don't remember the name of the book right now but I'll put it up on the screen. So I'm very excited to read this book and hopefully it'll be five stars. I feel like I haven't read even one bad review of this book so I'm very certain it'll get a five star rating from me. So that was the five books that I predict will get a five star rating from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!